right, hi boys and girls. It is another day of science and we get to do some more experiments. So today I'm still going to be using my hair dryer. Do you remember what the hair dryer pushes out of it? Do you remember what that word was? It's called heat. Something that's hot. We get heat from the sun. My oops, hair dryer blows hot air out or heat. Um, sometimes if you get in a car and you turn on the hot air, that is called heat. Um, you can get heat from the stove top. That's why your mom, if she's cooking something, she'll tell you not to touch it because it's hot. There's heat coming out. So there's lots of different ways we can get heat. But today I'm going to be using my hair dryer again. And what we will be doing is using crayons. So I will be putting the heat for the hair dryer on the crayons. And we're going to find out what happens to the crayons when heat is on it. So right now, I want you to think, think, think. So close your eyes and think. And I want you to make a prediction. That means your very best guess. So make a prediction about what you think will happen when I put the heat of the hair dryer onto the crayons. So right now I'm thinking, and I'm thinking my prediction is, and I want you to say it out loud right now, and I'm going to pause this and get ready for the experiment. Okay, so before we get to the actual experiment, I need you to go ahead and get your journal out. So if you don't have your science journal or whatever journal you use for science, please go get it. Once you get it, you're going to need something to write with. I'm going to use some colors because we're going to be drawing the crayons. So if you think you want color, then you might want to grab those. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the ice cube. We're going to draw a line down the middle. And we're going to write the word before. B E F O-R-E, before. And then I'm also going to write the word after. A-F-T-E-R. But I'm not going to do the after part right now. And I'm going to draw a line underneath to make it a T-chart. So here are my crayons. If you have some at home, you can look at your own. But here are my crayons. Let's see, can you see them? I'm not doing a very good job of holding them. All right, so we need to talk about the properties of these crayons. That could be their shape, their size, the way they feel, their color. One thing that I'm noticing when I run my fingers over the crayon, it's very easy to do that. So I am going to write the word smooth. I'm going to leave room for a picture right here, okay? So one way to describe my crayon is smooth. S M O O T H. Smooth. Um, one way also to describe it, it's long. Do you see how long it is? It's pretty long. L O N G. Long. that it's hard. Do you remember the word that we used for hard? You can always use the word hard, but a better word for hard is solid. Solid. So I'm going to use that word. S-O-L-I-D. Solid. All right, I need two more words. I really like using the color, describing the color, but I want to describe this color because it is pretty. So I'm going to use the word pink. P-I-N-K. Pink. And then I need one more word to describe this. I'm going to leave that one blank for you to do by yourself. But think of a word, not big, but hidden. That would be a good word. 
but I'm going to let you do that one. All right, so now we are ready to draw our crayon. Ms. Moore is not the best drawer. I'm sure yours is way better. Okay, so make sure you've drawn your crayon and you've also given me five words that describe it. Now it's time for the experiment. All right, guys, I know you can't really see my face right now, but I want you to be able to see the crayons in here. So I've got my crayons in this little bucket. I have to be careful when I'm doing the experiment. I don't want it to go everywhere. So I'm going to leave my crayons right here, and I am going to turn on my hair dryer. Let's watch and see what happens. Very hot. Oh, can you see it? Wow, what's happening? Craziness. Ah! Do you see this? Wow, what's happening? I gotta be careful, it doesn't go everywhere. danger zone. All right, let's see some of what's happening. Okay, I'm pouring some of it out so you can see. You see that? Uh-oh, it's kind of doing like what the ice cube was doing. This one's messier. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I know that you're not here to smell it, but it definitely has a strong smell. So if I pour this, whoa, look. Can you tell that it's turning into that word that we used yesterday, a liquid? All right, I'm going to show you what it looks like after it cools. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for a little bit. Okay guys, that was a really cool experiment. So let me show you what it looks like when they are cooled. So it has gone into this and was a liquid and was runny. It's kind of falling apart, but now you can tell that it's hard and solid. Um, it's still very smooth. Um, it's a broken heart, but let me show you one that did not break. So if you can kind of tell that that was a crayon. So when you melt your crayons, they melt down and then they can form into a shape that you have ready. So here's our blue one. So now you need to get your journal and we're going to draw a picture of what it looks like after. So I'm going to go with um, the full heart of what it looks like. Draw your heart, color it in. If you want to do the blue one, that's all right as well, whichever one you want to do. So now I'm going, oh, I'm going to write the properties of what it looks like after. So when it has cooled, is it still smooth? I would say yes, it feels very smooth still, even though it's changed its shape. So I'm still going to say smooth as 
M O O T H. Um, number two. Is this still long? Oops. I would say no. What kind of shape is it? It's a heart now. You put it into a heart mold. So I'm going to put heart. H E A R T. All right. Um, solid. Well, it is a solid, but I'm going to put liquid. Two solid because when I melted it, it changed into a liquid and then it changed into a solid. All right, and then you have four and five, so you need to think of two more properties for the cooled crayon. Once you're done with that, you're going to take a picture of your chart and you're going to upload it onto Google Classroom for your teacher to see and you can get a grade on. Awesome job today, guys. I'll see you later.